It is time for yet another sculpt, and I like to take something that I can use as a base, and as you can see here, this is a lovely little tiki mug that I have covered in Sculpey. Already, I'm sure you can tell this is going to be a fish yet again. I do have a fascination with the deep ocean, and I truly love the eeriness of it and what could be lurking down there in the dark. Of course, one of my favorite fish is an anglerfish. Particularly, there is one called a humpback anglerfish, which I kind of modeled this after. Just know this is an artistic rendering of different elements of these anglerfish just because I really love the look of them. Something I find really interesting about the anglerfish in particular is that we actually don't know all that much about them. Because they reside anywhere from 100 to 1500 meters down in the ocean, there hasn't been much observation of them in the wild. In fact, a lot of what we know has been found through catching them. Many of the anglerfish males, which happen to be be much smaller than the female were being miscategorized as an entirely different type of fish because they look so different from their female counterparts. This is what I find so fascinating and some of them are parasitic so they swim around in that deep dark ocean and find themselves a female and they attach themselves by biting onto her belly and then their insides dissolve and morph into her. When the female is ready to reproduce she just pulls from her little attached male and in some cases they can have multiple males attached to them. It's crazy that this little guy just fuses himself to his woman. Interestingly, even though for humans, anglerfish is not something that we eat. We don't go out there and actively catch them. However, because we have overfished our oceans, our trawling lines and our fishing nets are getting down into those ranges. Normally, we would not catch fish at those depths. But they are becoming a product of bycatch. And if you do not know what bycatch is, it is awful. Essentially, it is unwanted fish or other marine creatures such as turtles, dolphins, whales, sharks that are caught in nets and essentially fishermen will toss them out of the nets and off the boat and everyone's like, well, cool, they're just throwing them back in the ocean. However, majority of the time, these fish and marine mammals that are caught in the fishing gear may suffer injuries or even die. There are people trying to fix the problem. Now, a lot of that is just updating the way that we fish and it's going to be more beneficial not only for us but for all the marine creatures out there. Anyway that's me ranting back to the art project. At this moment I have decided that I'm going to finish this build with foam because I need to be able to attach that lovely little light and I can't bake that in the oven. Generally speaking, I usually anchor anything electronic or things of that nature with foam clay that I will put on over top of my Sculpey and I'll just blend it in really well. If anyone has ever used foam clay, it is not very forgiving. It can dry fairly quickly. I tend to just use a moist finger, like keep a little water dish nearby and really blend, 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 and use tools that I can cut into the foam because it's also really hard to detail. I want to add this bioluminescent lore because it is key to these animals that live past depths that no light can penetrate. A lot of their predation has evolved to include bioluminescence. And they bioluminesce because there is a type of bacteria that lives in these parts of their body. It's so interesting. Another fun fact, some anglerfish live in areas that get so little food, they have evolved in such a way that their jaws can open to larger prey. Their stomachs will expand to hold these creatures that are far larger than themselves. Once I finish up the details with the foam clay, I can move on to painting. It's literally almost done. And I really, I'm really liking how it's looking. Of course, the paint is what's gonna make this. And I know that a lot of my pieces start out looking very haphazard, and it is funny how well they come together in the end, but really it's all about layering on top of layering. If I have any tips to give, it's that you can just keep adding until you get the details just right. 
Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you coming along for these little crafty get-togethers. And now it's time for an epic montage. <laughs>